Welcome back to Jimmy DeVore's Garage and episode 7 of the Barn Find Fergie project. To celebrate the fact that we've now got 2,000 subscribers, this week I'm wearing my dungarees. If you want to help us grow this channel, please remember to share this with your friends and hit that almighty subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Trust me, you won't be disappointed because in this episode, we're rebuilding the top half of our engine. Here we go. Seeing this beautiful old engine starting to take shape is certainly a morale boost Gav and I appreciate. Every nut and bolt that goes back on is now a step in the right direction. But there are no guarantees. We still don't know if this old girl will run. There is only one way for us to find out. We just need to keep going. How are you doing, Gav? All right? Doing all right. How are you? Yeah, all right. Uh, we're back and uh, this engine continues to be going back together. So whilst that's happening, I'm always a happy chap. Uh, when I left you, Gav, you were going to spend a couple of alone happy hours with this head, weren't you? Yeah, I was. And I did. <laughs> and you did. Was it a happy time? I spent some quality time with this head. Yeah. How would you get on? I lapped the valves in, which was good. There was a little bit of picking on them, but you know, I think we can forgive her for that, can't we? 1953, it's 70 odd years old. It's gonna have a little bit of pitting. You and I are both 42, aren't we? Yeah. Have we got any pitting? A little bit. A little bit. So you know what? I think we can forgive a little bit of pitting and it will still work okay, won't it? Yeah, let's hope so. Um, new valves, new springs, new collets. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent, so it's all looking positive? Positive, mate, yeah. Any other issues I need to know about? Uh, there was one other little job I did. And here it is. When you said issues, you had me a very concerned, Gavin. Yeah, so not really an issue. The, the valves were a little bit sloppy in the guides, so I thought it best to change them all. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. And uh, so there's new valve guides, I can see them actually now. New valve guides in and yeah. everything is nice and tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gav, <laughs> right, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six valves all redone. Uh, these two, not so much. I didn't want you to feel left out, mate. <laughs> yeah. I know how you like new shiny things. Yeah, so I definitely I do. I'll leave you a couple of nice new shiny valves to put in. How about that? that well, that's very generous of you. <laughs> so uh, I suppose we better, before we get this head back on, get those valves fitted to this head. Here we go. <laughs> Fitting the new valves is essentially the reverse of removing the old ones, which we did in the last episode. These ones, however, have been lapped by Gav and are obviously nice and shiny and slip in very, very smoothly. Next, the two springs are assembled and placed over the valve stem. The valve compression tool can then be used to compress the springs. This can often feel like a job where you need a second pair of hands. Cheers, Gav. To help hold the collets in, it's worth putting a little blob of grease on there 
and then they can just be slipped on in which is a little bit fiddly that's one in yep and then the second one pop some grease on there yet again See if number two is going to go in. We're going to play nice. Yes, number two in. And once those both collets are in, you can just release the valve spring compression tool. And that is your new valve and new springs in and assembled. That is uh, all the valves are back in this head, which means, Gav, we are nearly ready to put this back onto the engine, aren't we? Yeah, that can go back on there. You're looking very stern today. Can <laughs> I just say that? <laughs> this is getting serious now. All right, yeah. I get the feeling there's a but we should do something. Well, just to say... Well, <laughs> well... It's like a school teacher. Just to, you know, put our minds at ease, I was just going to suggest that we flip the head over and just put some fluid in, in sort of like the where the valves are just to make sure that they're So you, you want to test the valve to make sure it is yeah. got a good seal. Yeah, it's not a, a sort of an official thing. An official like test. It just, it, it's just nice to see. You know what, it is important that once you have got valves in, you do do a little test. It can just give you a bit of confidence that you have, should have a good compression. And, and this is a great little way of showing that the valves are sealing pretty well. Come on then, let's uh, make a grunty noise, get this head turned upside down and uh, get this test done. So, what you're gonna need to do is, ready? Yeah. Tip the head up, so it's upside down. Is that on all right? Yeah, nice. And then you've got all the valves and the seats facing you, and this is the one we just put in there, isn't it? Yeah. So get yourself a nice thin oil. Uh, this is actually a penetrating oil, so if anything is going to soak through, BDX will. This will, right? And we're going to we're going to literally put the oil on top of the valve. And what we're going to do? I'm going to spray some on, go. There it goes. On it goes. Nice, nice puddle there. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's spreading over. So what we're looking at happening is. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> We're looking at nothing happening. Um, we don't want the penetrating oil to penetrate. We want it to sit on the surface here, which it is, and not leak through now over a load of time because it isn't a watertight seal, but it shouldn't run through there easily. And, and look at that. It's just puddling on the top. Yeah. And it's not running down and out the bottom of the valve. Right. It's not coming out of there. No? Intake. So, if your thin oil does sit there, penetrating oil or not, that does tell you that you have got a good seal. So I'd say that's looking pretty good, Gav. Yeah, it's good, mate. Yeah? You're happy? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so, that means we can now get this put back onto the engine. Shall we do it? Let's get on with it. Here we go. We're giving the block a good cleaning off with abrasive pads to make sure the surfaces are as clean as can be so we get a great seal with a gasket. So the head's had a good scrubbing off with the old Scotch Brite. Yep. What do you what are you, what are you used to using Scotch Brite for? Back in your RAF days. Well, on the old uh, SA80 weapon. On the gun. On the old weapon. Don't you be you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah. <laughs> Don't oh, you upset me now. I'm lady angry now. One thing you never say to an armourer is gun. Gun. It's a rifle, it's got <laughs> rifling, it's a rifle. Guns smooth ball. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm bullets. <laughs> right, moving on. We've cleaned, we've given this a good clean with the old Scotch Brite now, so this surface is beautiful clean, apart from the fact that the Scotch Brite has kind of left the, our favourite word, detritus, yeah. in and amongst the pistons, which uh, we don't want to put this back together with detritus. So before we put the head on, we do need to give this a quick blowing off. Give it a blowout, yeah. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Good, good. Um, and to do that, we've got this beast of a little uh, compressor here. Um, so, here we go, Gav. Do you want to do the valve? Yeah. I do the... Right, let's go. Give each uh, cylinder a shot. Go on. And again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. That, me? that is now gorgeous and clean. So uh, we can now get the new gasket, put that on, and uh, lower the head on. I always get nervous at times like this. Well, this is it, isn't it? It's Cheerio Pistons. That's Cheerio nice Pistons. You are committing to something. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're about to commit to uh, this head going on. Um, nervous times. I guess we should get on with it. Yeah, that's all we can do on that. One head gasket. One head gasket. Let's get her up on there. As much as we've done, loads of thinking about this. Proper nervous. I get nervous. Don't bend it too much. Come on, you take the gasket. I've got the gasket. Okay. That is the right way up. Those folding lips facing down. Yeah. Slot her on. Oh, really awkward. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of a. Probably wanted to not have the studs on. Oh, oh. It's going to get more awkward as it goes down as well. Well, then it's going to get past the thread, I suppose. Oh, naughty. Naughty. Naughty, very naughty. Mm. naughty yeah. mm. Sit past the threads. So just give it a oh, it's a bit of a oh, we'll fiddle in it. She's on. Bit of a job, isn't it? Mm. Okay, you ready for the old heave ho? And on we go. Big moment. Should we tip it up and just check the bottom is clean, clean? Yep, yeah, it's clean, clean. Ready? Yep. Head up. Yep. <sighs> Swing her on over. And we want to go down nice and level. <sighs> oh, I just dropped on. Yep. Are you on? You're, I'm lower than you. I'm lower than you. Oh. There we go. There we go. That was quite smooth. Head on, chap. Head on. You do realise that. You know what we get to do now? What? <laughs> Talk up a whole oh. heap of bolts. Yeah. That went on nice though, didn't it? Looks nice, doesn't it? There it is, the little <laughs> smile. <laughs> Looks good. I never saw these smiles when we were taking it apart, but now it's going back together. Yeah. Little smiles. It is looking good. I mean, <laughs> every time we put another bit like this on, it is hard to forget where this was. In a hedge, looking very sorry for itself. And now it's just looking lovely. Do you remember when we took this off with all that white powder in cylinder four? <laughs> 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 We still don't even know what that stuff was. It was pretty nasty, but uh, yeah, that's long gone now. Uh, it's goodbye pistons. Yeah, I can't see them anymore. Looking good. Right, Talk let's run. get these talked up. Yeah. So we need to talk down the nuts on the cylinder head studs here, and there's a correct order and torque to do it by, and that's in the manual here. But what I'm gonna do is a little cheat, just to help myself out. Uh, I'm going to write down the number of the studs on top of the studs so I can do them in the right order. Well, can you go the distance, baby? I hope you can. I'll help you go the distance because, honey, that's the plan. What kind of man do you think I am? I'll tell you, darling, I'm the man who can. You know all those things about love that you've been told. I'll tell them to you every day and now till I'm old. Oh, can you go the distance? You know I hope you can. Or oh, will you go the distance? Because, honey, that's the plan. On old engines, the order of talking normally starts in the middle and works its way out. This should mean that the head goes down nice and flat, giving it great contact with the gasket, which will prevent it from failing. It's gonna have its ups and downs, don't be a bumpy ride. You'll find that if you stick around, I'll be right by your side. Well, can you go the distance, baby? 
I hope you can, I help you go the distance Because honey, that's the plan When talking up new studs, it's a good thing to do them twice. The first time, stress the stud, causing it to stretch. And the second time, you should get a true torque setting as nothing stretches. You love me from now until I most begin. Stick together, this woman and this man. Overcoming all resistance is such a simple plan. So we can go the distance, darling. I know we can. Can we go, go, go? Oh, darling, I know we can. That is the head all talked down and nice and snug, and that went all right, didn't it, Gav? Yeah, went pretty well. Um, so the next thing we're going to go on to is the rockers, but before we do that, I've got some an exciting announcement to make. Really? Really? We've had, Gav, our first bit Hello. of kind of fan mail, so I reckon uh, you should give that a little old open. You will notice the top of that got corner. Fergie on it. it has got a Fergie on it, so have a little look inside there. Hello, Ferguson Furrows. Ferguson, that's actually uh, a magazine from the United States of America. Um, it comes out five times a year, and uh, they've lovingly sent us a copy. Right, that's me, a lost Gav, for the afternoon. You right there, Gav? Yeah, so we need to get ourselves in this magazine right. one market. Stop dreaming and let's get back on <laughs> <laughs> doing these rockers. I'm gonna put that safe. Yeah, you in. you can take that okay, with you for later. <laughs> you, you're quite lonely times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that's all snugged down nicely. Um, fan mail uh, passing. We now need to get the rockers back on. Uh, interesting enough, we've had a look in the manual for the torque settings for how firmly this should be bolted down, and it says... Uh, tighten down firmly. Firmly, so this is going to be tightened down to the firm torque setting. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Helpful, yeah. Yeah, firm torque <laughs> setting. Uh, it, but, well, I mean, firm years ago was probably firmer than firm. I don't know. Who knows? We're going to go firm. So, uh, yeah, before we do that, we do need to put in... These are push rods, which, if you remember from when we took them out, we did uh, number them one to eight uh, with the front at the front. So, going in, Gav, number one. There it goes. Back in from west they came. All a little bit cleaner for them now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, back in. Lovely. And it should be a simple case of a uh, lower on the rocker assembly. So one thing we have done to the rock rockers is uh, loosen off all the tappets before putting them on, and that just makes sure that we don't sort of mess anything up along the way, over tighten something. You can tell where Gav's concentrating now because he's gone all quiet. <laughs> Are you going on all right? Yeah. Oh. I'm just straight on. Yeah. Straight on, yeah. All the cups lining up. Just set them in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lined up. Yeah, I'm looking good. Nuts on. <clears throat> Nuts on. Right, Gab, do you want to set yourself to firmly and uh, do these up? All right, calibrated to firm. Calibrated to firm, off you go. We will actually be setting up these tappets in a later episode when all the timing's set up. So for now, we're just gonna nip these down nice and firmly. And uh, that is the rockers on. What are we doing next? Let's, let's, I know we're not gonna put the rocker cover on properly, but let's, you know. Cap it off. It'll keep it nice and clean, won't it? It will keep it nice and clean. So I think next we're going to get the rocker cover on, although it will have to come off. So we probably won't put the gasket in, but we will fit it in place so it keeps all this nice and clean. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
I'll call on that firm. That looks, the way you were showing your teeth, I'd say that was, yeah, that looks firm <laughs> to me. Anyway, that's what he's doing here. Right, let's get that rock up. Rocker cover back in the game. How's the firmness? Moderately firm. <laughs> there, Gav, is the rocker box. Thank Ready you, to man. fit. Lovely job. Right, so before I fit this uh, rocker cover, I need to put this decompression uh, assembly back on. Now, this was completely seized up when we took it off. So I've given it a little bit of love, a little bit of shot blasting, uh, and a bit of heat to try and free it off. So I'm going to fit some new gaskets. The shim. This final gasket. Put it back on the cover. Quick. Right, so just finished nipping that up, and you can see this was a complete rusty mess beforehand, really nasty, couldn't move it at all. So it just goes to show with a bit of love what can be saved. Really happy with that decompression system should work perfectly now. Lovely. Come on then big boy. There you go. One rocker cover for oh, you. Yeah. That is looking gorgeous. Now not only have you fixed up this decompression system which attaches to this but also we have given the whole rocker cover a little bit of a steam clean. So we've kept that old patina but it is looking rustic but I think lovely. Yeah. Nice and original. Yeah, you know when something is nice, just has, I don't know, age, makes me want to stroke it, because you sort of put yourself in touch with history. Anyway, this should just drop. Now, we're, we're not putting the gasket in, because this isn't the rocker cover going on. This is just us putting it on, really just to keep it, everything nice and clean. There it is. Oh, look at that, lovely, beautifully on. And that is, uh, yeah, that's all connected up. Brilliant. You do, do mean that, that means we get to get rid of one more of our, uh, fast food boxes because this is the rocker cover one which should hopefully, fingers crossed out, have in it, yep, yep, one, two, three nuts and three washers which have also just been cleaned in a bit of petrol. That is now done for. We can put these on. We only need to do these finger, finger tights, don't we? Yeah, because they're only coming off. I mean, in fact, I'm not even going to do them up. I'm just going to put them on the top so they don't get lost. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Perfect. This is properly starting to look like an engine now. It is an engine, isn't it? Yeah. It is. <clears throat> now, I do think, however, we should do one more job today, which is sort of connected to this, but sort of not, because we have one more nasty thing on here, which is this, the older throttle lever, which is completely crowed away and completely broken. So I do think really to do with working the engine, this is the last bit of corrosion that does need to come out, because that is going to need repairing if this is ever going to be able to throttle up. So uh, shall we get that out now? Yeah, let's get that out. Yeah? Get that repaired. I see you looking at it with beady-eyed oh, yeah. intention. Yeah, 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 I've got a few thoughts on that. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think he's about to attack it. Right then, last job of the day. Yeah. Getting that throttle out. Or is it the last job of the day? Because we're going to put that cover on. Well, we can still do that. We might do a couple more jobs, who knows? Right, anyway, next job is taking that out of there. Come on, let's go on with it. This old throttle lever and linkage is certainly a little bit worse for wear, but Gav and I have a plan to get it working again and save as much of it as is possible. Don't forget to tune in to the next episode where, fingers crossed, it will be going back together. Right, so there's a split pin, or there was a split pin, holding this plate and spring up here. I need to get this down, but the split pin just break, has broken off in this shaft and left two little bits, which is stopping me 
pulling this down. So I think what I'm going to do is give it a little file, file off the ends of the split pins, and hopefully be able to pull that bit down and get this out. There she pops. Gav, sigh, sigh of relief, sigh, sigh of relief. Yep. There it is, because this is the last job of this episode, and it is putting on the cam follower cover. Cam follower cover, um, which is going on right here. Now, a couple of things have happened since we last uh, saw this, haven't they? Yep, so we're giving it a good, good old sort of steam clean to get all the guns. Yeah, it doesn't look very clean. Oh, yeah, but we need to keep that kind of hedgerow patina, don't <laughs> Hedgerow patina intact, however, gunge gone. Gone. You can. You can lick it. Ooh. Yeah, it's clean, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing that's happened is here. This was the biggest area of detritus when uh, this tractor was all whole. This is the, the air breather, and it, it didn't even look like a breather, did it? it? No, it didn't. Basically, just didn't exist, did it? Yeah. So it's all been stripped off. We have got existing the frame, which is quite worse for wear, but it is good enough to fit a new breather on. And we have got a new one. However, we're not fitting this today because. We've got a little surprise in store for this, haven't we? In another episode. So we're going to leave that off, uh, but get this fitted. So shall we get it on? Yeah, let's go for it. New gasket. Gasket. Look at that. Fresh as a daisy. Hold it in place. Beautiful. Really nice thing to do when you're putting a gasket on is just get a couple of couple of bolts in, just getting that gasket lined up. There you go. Before you go onto the block, and that should mean that everything, including the gasket, line up nicely. What's going on your side? Yeah, happy. That is it going on. There you go. So I think you'll agree this engine really is starting to come together. And it's made Gavin and I start to think about other parts of this tractor because we're hoping to get this driving again. Uh, and one thing we're still missing is a nice set of hedgerow patinaed rear wheels. So if you do know of anywhere that there are a decent set of wheels with good tires on that we could use on this tractor, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. Sadly, that is the end of the episode. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below and we'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, from Gav and from I, happy tractoring. Get your hedgerow patina on and we'll catch you later. Get that bottled up, you. What are you doing looking at the camera? <laughs> Come on, there's ice creams to be had. If you are enjoying what you're doing, please, if you are enjoying what you're doing. <laughs> Only three days ago, I had a Mr. Whippy with a flake in. Was actually doing is I was visualizing it in my head and I, what I was visualizing is one of them do you know them big ones you get with like there's a double double doozy in it you get like two big massive lumps two flakes that's what I was picturing mate He's gonna buy me a oh no 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 you just gotta keep it standing in it just a flake in the let's go get some friends <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we go. So, right, what we're going to do now, uh, what are we going to do now? It's the end, Gav. You are right about that? Not going to say anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sound, something like this.